بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله الناصح الامين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته الى يوم الدين ثم اما بعد الحمد لله على نعمة الاسلام والسنة All praise and thanks belong to Allah for guiding us to Islam and for guiding us to the Sunnah This is a phrase that you hear or repeated from me and it is due to it being a reminder for myself and in an attempt to remind others of the bounty of Islam and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has guided us to that which is the best thing for us bila shak wa bila raid in this world and in the next this is a bounty of which i don't believe it is fully reflected upon i don't believe that we fully understand its value and that is illustrated by the feebleness of our gratitude unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this bounty ala kulli hal i ask everyone to reflect and to ponder and to think because when great events happen you will find that individuals they will know where they were at the time so on and so forth it has an impact upon them it stamps a timeline into their memory for example individuals will tell you where they were perhaps what they were doing on 9/11 because this was an impactful event that had adverse effects upon the world ala kulli hal we use that tragedy as an example that when things of this magnitude happen they stamp our memories i want to draw your attention to something that is even more devastating something that is more impactful something that has yet to happen but is a day that i ask you to reflect on and to think and to imagine where do you want to be on that day it is a day again it is an event again that i want you to ask yourself i want you to ponder i want you to think i want you to sit yourself down and interrogate yourself to have an honest conversation with yourself that when this event takes place where are you going to be on that day where do you want to be on that day now bila shak wa bila raid allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tells us kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut that every soul will taste death every soul will taste death now spoiler alert i'm not asking you to think about where you will be on the day you die I'm not asking you to reflect and to ponder where you will be on the day you die. No, not at all. However, I'm asking you to reflect and to ponder where will you be on the day that death dies? Where will you be on the day that death dies? And Abi Sa'id Al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qaal قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يؤتى بالموت كهيئة كبش املح the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said as it comes in this hadith narrated on the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri 
a hadith that is mutafaqun alayh, collected by both al-Bukhari and Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he said that death will be brought on that day, meaning, and it will be in the state of a black and white ram. That death will be brought in the form of a black and white ram. For yunadi munadin. And then a caller will call out, Ya Ahl Jannah, O people of Jannah. A caller will call out addressing those who are inside of the Jannah. For yashra ibbuna wa yanzurun. And the people of Jannah, they will look up, stretching their necks. They will look up. فيقول, and they will say, or it will be asked to them rather, هَلْ تَعْرِفُونَ هَذَا Do you know this? Do you recognize what this is? فَيَقُولُونَ نَعَمْ هَذَا الْمَوْتِ And they will say, yes, this is death. It will be asked to them, do you know what this is? They will say, yes, this is death. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَكُلُّهُمْ قَدْ رَآهُ He said, and all of them, they verily, they saw it already. All of them, they saw death before, because they all died. They all died. So they recognized death. ثُمَّ يُنَادِ إِلَى أَهْلِ النَّارِ And then, it will be called out to the people who are inside of the fire. فَيَشْرَئِبُونَ وَيَنْظُرُونَ And they will look up. They will stretch their necks looking up. فَيَقُولُونَ هَلْ تَعْرِفُونَ هَذَا And it will be asked in the same question. Do you know what this is? فَيَقُولُونَ نَعَمْ هَذَا الْمَوْتِ They will say yes, this is death. وَكُلُّهُمْ قَدْ رَآ Because all of them, they saw it before. They all died previously. So they were well aware, well familiar with death. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, the youth bahu, and then death will be slaughtered. Death will be killed. Thumma yaqul, and then it will be said, Ya ahl al jannah, khuludun fala maut. O people of the jannah, you shall remain where you are forever. There is no death. There's no more death. Death is dead. You're going to remain where you are forever without any option of dying. It's over. There's no more death. Death is dead. And all the people of the fire. All the people of the fire. You're going to stay there forever. There is no option of death. You're going to stay there forever. There is no option of death. Where do you want to be on the day that death dies? Hada, aqulu qawli hada, wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa li jami'i al-muslimin. Fa astaghfiru, fa innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala rasulillah wa ba'd Ya ibadullah Where do you want to be on a day that death dies? Where do you want to be when it is said khuludun fala mawt You want to stay where you at forever there is no option of death Where do you want to be at that time? You see we can say anything we want to say right now as a response. But the reality, the reality in which I ask myself and all of you to reflect on and to think about is not the response that our tongues may offer, but what is the response that our limbs illustrate? What is the response displayed upon our limbs? Do our limbs yell out that we want to be from the people of the Jannah on the day that death dies? Or do our limbs scream out that we want to be from the people in the fire on the day that death dies? 
What are our limbs saying? What is our salat saying? What is our siyam saying? Our fasting? What is our obedience unto Allah? How does that look? Does it look like those who will be in the Jannah on the day death dies or look like those who will be in the fire on the day death dies? I want you to reflect upon this. I want you to remember this and bring this to your minds. I want you to bring this to the forefront of your thinking and over that in which you ponder on. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he went on to say, Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he recited, وَأَنذِرْهُمْ يَوْمَ الْحَسْرَةِ إِذْ قُضِيَ الْأَمْرِ And warn them from the day of misery, the day of sorrow, the day of regret, the day of misery, the day of sorrow, the day of regret, when the affair is done, when the affair is over, when the case is closed, وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةِ and they are in a state of unmindfulness. They are in a state of unmindfulness. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he goes on and he said, And those who are in the state of unmindfulness, then they are the people in this world. Those in a state of unmindfulness, those in a state of forgetfulness, they are the people of this world. Forgetting about the hereafter, forget, forgetting about the fact that there is a heaven, forgetting about the fact that there is a hellfire, forgetting about the fact that there is a heaven and one has to strive for it, forgetting about the fact that there is a hellfire and one has to run away from it trying to escape it, forgetting the fact that the Jannah is surrounded by those things that are difficult, that are difficult, hard to do, that require discipline, so on and so forth, forgetting about the fact that the hellfire is surrounded by one's desire, by desires, by lust, vanity, so on and so forth. Forgetting the fact that we have to strive if we want to be successful. Forgetting the fact that we have to believe and do what is right now. Forgetting the fact that if we fall into that which is haram, if we indulge ourselves in that which is haram, that we are going to be held accountable for it. We're going to have to answer for it. Forgetting the fact that there's going to come a day that they are going to stand in front of their Lord and that they are going to be held accountable for what they have done. Forgetting the fact that they will either be rewarded in the Jannah or punished in Nar. Forgetting the fact that those who go to the Jannah, they shall abide therein forever. And that those who go to the fire, ultimately those kuffar, they will be there forever. Allah Ta'ala ends the verse by saying, وَهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ These are those who they don't believe. And warn, and warn them from a day of sorrow and regret when the affair has come to an end and they were in a state of unmindfulness and they did not believe. This is the totality of the translation of the verse. Are we in a state of unmindfulness? In our past week, did we even think about death? Did we even think about the day of judgment? Did we even think about wanting to be in the Jannah? And if so, what did you do? Did we reflect upon the hellfire and how we don't want to go there? And if so, what did you do? Hearing these things without holding ourselves to account is of no benefit. We have to hold ourselves to account before we are held to account. We have to weigh ourselves before we are weighed. We have to sit down and have these honest conversations with ourselves. Because the reality of the fact is either we're going to be benefiting from the Quran or we're not going to be benefiting from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا Allah Ta'ala, He tells the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and thus we have revealed unto you the Qur'an in the Arabic language. We have revealed unto you the Qur'an in the Arabic language. Alhamdulillah, the Qur'an has been revealed. The Musahif, they are plentiful. We have the printed copies. We even have digital copies upon our phone. Do we read it? Do we reflect? Do we live in accordance to it? 
Do we go to it for guidance? The Quran has been revealed. Allah Ta'ala, He explains to us the reason. Allah Ta'ala, He says, لِتُنْذِرَ أُمُ الْقُرَى وَمَنْ حَوْلَهَا So that the occupants of Mecca could be warned. And those who are around Mecca could be warned, meaning what? The world. So that those in and outside of Mecca could be warned. So they can be warned. وَتُنْذِرَ يَوْمُ الْجَمْعِ So they can be warned. Warned about what? Warned about the day that everyone will be brought together. Warned about the day that the group shall be brought together. Those who live of old, those who live now, those who are going to live in the future and die. Everybody brought together. All ages, all eras brought together. That day in which Allah Ta'ala, He says, لا ريب فيه there is no doubt as relates to it. The day of judgment, there is no doubt. What you do now, you're going to answer for it. What you do now, you're going to either be rewarded or punished for it. There is no doubt about that. That day is going to come. Death is going to die. Allah Ta'ala, He goes on to say in this ayah, فَرِيقٌ فِي الْجَنَّةِ وَفَرِيقٌ فِي السَّعِيرِ There will be a party in the Jannah, and there will be a party in the hellfire. There will be a party in the Jannah. There will be a party in the blazing fire. This is the reality. That day is going to come. The, everybody will be gathered. And at the end of it, there will be a party in Jannah. There will be a party in hell. At the end of it, there will be people in the Jannah. There will be people in the hell. At the end of it, there will be those who will be rewarded. There will be those who will be punished. At the end of it, death will be dead and it's over. Said and done. No more death. Those who are in Jannah, that's, that's going to be their final abode. They're going to be there forever. Those who are going to be in the fire and that is their final abode, they are going to be there forever. Fariqun fil Jannah wa fariqun fil Sa'ir. This is the reality. No matter what we try to run from, no matter what we try to bury our heads in the sand as relates to it, this is the final and ultimate outcome. A party in Jannah, a party in the fire. So again, 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 and I want you to answer with your actions and not with a word on the day that death dies. Where do you want to be? أقيم الصلاة